Okay, so today we're going to take the fuel injectors out of this car uh, with, with assistant, and we're going to rebuild them, which is just put new seals, new pintle caps, new filters on them, because I think we can get a little more out of this car. It's not very hard, and honestly, I would suggest everybody do this if you have a fuel injected car. It's, if that has any mileage on it, it's not very hard. Just take your time. And uh, the kits are available on Amazon, so they're like $15. So that's $15 you could ever spend on your car. So, yeah, we're going to get to it. We're going to take it apart. This is showing the rehabbing of this car and the steps I'm doing to make sure it's pretty good. So we're going we're gonna to get to that. And, uh, right, Assistant? Yep. Yep. And then we're going to get her running again. Okay. Let's get to it. All right, so the first part is the silent film is I like got everything apart. Well, that's good, I guess. So now we're at the point of getting the gas rail off. If I had, if I had some light, I would start doing it. All right, so 
I don't know how much slack I have here. It doesn't seem like tons. So I got to undo that screw. And we'll see how much gas pours out. Um, uh, where's the screw hole? Eee. I can't see. The heck is that? BMW. Oh, well, actually, I can't. I can't figure out what this is. Oh, yeah, it's how you make the sausage. All right, so whoo, that lighting is so. Here is what I needed to get that clamp off. Uh, it is a special. It is a specially bit. I need to change the fuel injection hose, so we'll be doing that later. And I'm going to put real regular clamps on there because I don't need the security clamps on this thing because this is another an absolute nightmare. No one has ever been in here, but I want to show how bad this is. Those are supposed to be green. Um, they are far from it. This, these injectors are absolutely a mess. So I'm going to pop them out, and we're going to take them out one by one and repair them. Or we'll actually rebuild them and uh, go from there. So, yeah, that's, that's where we are in the stage. All right, I've taken the top O-ring off. So now we have the little filter, which is, I mean, completely um, clogged. And the pinto cap looks like, well, that's kind of nasty. So we have all the parts here. They lay them out quite nicely. There's the new pintel caps. They even gave me a tool. The filter. It's like a corkscrew. Look at that. I can get open a bottle of wine later. That was not so good. I think it fell apart. Oh my God, it did. It fell apart. Because here's the bottom of it. Oh my God. I think I got it all out. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Did you see that? I saw it. Completely fell apart. Oh, it broke. It just, it just, look. The rubber just broke. I think the pinto cap is so brittle, it's just gonna break off the, it's just gonna break off the ejector. And then it just comes off. All right, so this is a bare injector. See? Okay. And that's where the fuel comes out in there. The pinto cap helps it 
helps it um, regulate the spray. Okay. Okay. So, rebuilding it, just everything in reverse. Take one of these plastic thingamajigs. Spacer. Put the spacer on first. Okay. And then take an O-ring. That's why you just take your time doing this. There you go. See? O-ring. Then you take pintle cap. Why it's called a pintle cap, I don't have an idea. I just know that's what it's called. And you go and That looks like that's clicked into place. What fell on me? Hip towels. Yep. Okay, that's on. And put that on. There you go. And then the uh, final piece of this beautiful puzzle is the uh, new filter which looks considerably different than the filter we removed. And we're going to do this six times. Delicately knock it in. Okay. Wow, that doesn't sound pretty outside at all. Nope. Wow. Okay, so this is the fuel injector. Theoretically, you should test it. Ah, okay. We'll do that. It should be 140 ohms. It's a little high. It's 16 and a half. Interesting. Hmm. Right, so this one is done. So it's done. So what we're going to do, this is O-ring grease. This will make our lives easier. I'm trying to get it inside the filter. It'll be just a minute. Okay, so my assistant and I have... Um, gone and we've changed the fuel injectors and put them in the car we've uh, had to change one of the wires so um, not wires we had to change one of the hoses the hose that's kind of buried there it was kind of not good especially since we took it apart you can see the fuel injectors down there they're sitting in tight i've sprayed around there there's no leaks so now we're just going to put the uh we're going to put the cap back on you know the covers back on and of course, this car has the e, uh, M50 tick, so it, it just sounds terrible. There's nothing wrong with it. It just sounds terrible. So if you have any ideas of how to fix that, that's good. Comment below. Uh, it doesn't seem like it hurts anything. I don't feel anything. Like I've touched the valve cover and there's no noise. So it's just a noisy engine. All right, so we're going to put these things together. We got to put this cover on first. Loosen that. I got to get a new set of these caps. That bothers me that they're not there. It's one of those things in life. Just, just, uh, the things like that bother me. Just like that. Ugh, the duct tape on that intake for the... Uh, alternator it could be the alternator making all that noise because there's a fan in the back and it may be hitting the plastic all right we'll start it up 
All right, you got it? Yep. <laughs> they just, these cars just make, they just make that noise. It's annoying. But it's running very smooth, very nice. It's like a clock. All right. Okay, so it's done. Uh, it's not very hard, and honestly, if you have a car that has fuel injection, I would highly recommend at least re you know doing a minor rebuild on them if if they are still good. Most of the time, they are good. These checked out fine with the ohms. It's like sixteen. 16 ohms, all of them were the same though, so I'm not overly concerned. Uh, but yeah, so assistant, who's kind of weird, uh, is uh, very helpful with this. She actually was able to do her first fuel injector job, so that's great. Okay, so I gotta do this. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, before, as I said before, comment, like, share, subscribe. And, of course, if you have a classic car or something cool, make sure you take it out on the road because you'll make someone's day, including your own. Catch you down the road.